So guys, let's see about this um, this problem, okay? So it's the first step into problems that has to do with steam tables. It's not just to find some of the properties, I mean, it is, but it's also with certain difficulties, okay? At least in some certain type of system or certain type of application. So it's not just, well, I will give you two data and with that you will find something. No, it's a little bit more elaborate, but it's just the first step, okay? So with that, we just see here what is happening. Let me just put here data, okay? So data here, it's gonna be the volume. So the volume, I will put this as a symbol of volume because I will later use in the course velocity, so I don't want these two um, variables confused with a letter. So everything, everything, you know, the whole volume of that rigid tank, it's 1.8 cubic meters, good. And the temperature inside is 220 degrees Celsius of the steam in within. Remember that the word steam is already just H2O, okay? So with steam, it's just the same thing as H2O. We don't know exactly what they mean by steam in, the, in a phase-wise meaning. We don't know which type of phase or phases are in there. I mean, we can, we can elucidate something, we can think of something, but we don't know exactly. Okay, so with that, we will put, okay, more data. It says the volume, okay, of the liquid phase it's one third of total volume. So let me just put already this number. So this thing will be 0.6 cubic meter, already putting the numbers. And oh, another type of datum is the volume of the gas phase, which is two thirds, obviously, of the total volume, which is this number over here, 1.2 cubic meter. Okay, so far, so much of this data. Now, they need you to find A, the pressure, the pressure of the steam inside the tank, B, uh, the quality of the mixture, saturated mixture, and C, oh, they are telling me that this thing is saturated mixture. Let's see what they mean by that later. And C, density of the mixture. I don't agree too much with this as a question, because most of the times in thermodynamics, we don't use density, we use this. So let me just put how I'm gonna get it. We use a specific volume instead of density. But nonetheless, they are asking me that and I can actually uh, solve it, okay? But I don't like too much talking about density because it's not the most relevant uh, variable in order to talk about mass and volume. We use much more specific volume. Well, so that's the, that's the problem posed there. Okay, so I'm gonna start. When I'm looking at these two guys, I know already that this thing is mixture, okay? So maybe I can know it already from these two data, or maybe because of this word appear here in the sentence. So I have it there, okay? That's the mixture. Now, now I already know that I am here. Doesn't really matter where exactly, but I know that I am right there, somewhere in there. How do you know? Just because of the mixture or just because of this data. They are telling you, you have something of the, in the liquid phase and something in the gas phase. So um, that's why I know I'm in the mixture. So if I know that I am in the mixture, I can already go to steam tables and find this guy right away. So I can know the pressure right away because there is a, corres a direct correspondence between this temperature and the pressure at where the water boils. So this thing is gonna be saturation pressure at the conditions of 220 degrees Celsius. And I can already write that. That thing, if you go to your table of A4, A4 in the single book, you will find out that this thing, A4 is around, I have it over here. So it's 2,319.6 kilopascals. Maybe I'm wrong, you need to check. You need always need to check what the professor is doing, okay? So 
uh, that's what I have over there. I, or I know that I am there because this thing is boiling. This thing is in saturation. This thing is changing face. Okay. So this was, was pretty, pretty easy. Okay. Uh, let's just go with the other one. So X, 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 just by definition, X is the mass of the, uh, of the face that has to do with the gas divided by total M. Or if you want to put it in some other way, this is the mass of the gaseous phase divided by the mass of the liquid phase plus the mass of the vaporous phase. Okay, so if you see, I don't have this, and I don't have this guy, and I don't have this one either. So you're pretty stuck into that, right? Well, okay, let me just go with some data that I have over here. I have this data over there. And you will say, well, yeah, so what? Oh, I can work with that. Yeah, so you know, I'm going to put BF equals 2.6, fine, cubic meter again, and then I'm going to put this one and 1.2 if you add them up if you add them up you will get yourself total volume which is something that you already know you actually come from this data right so well that's what you are putting over there and there's not much of a value over there so you don't you don't, you haven't advanced very much in this problem okay but this is very important please remember try to remember this relationships that I'm going to put over here. I'm going to put it with red. So this one is like that. V, the specific volume, equals to the volume divided by the mass. You can also write this for the total, okay? So this is for the total. If you put total, okay, and this is total. If you do this, this specific volume is going to be for the mixture or for the all of the phases there, which is liquid and, and vapor, okay? So this is for the mixture, but you can also write this just for the liquid phase. You can also do this, and this is completely right. So this is for the liquid phase, okay? And this is for the vaporous phase. So you can actually write that, and maybe you see that this thing is starting to be solved. So this is, I was gonna put gas, let me just put vapor, I think it's more correct, okay? So with that, you will see that you have this information, you have this information, you don't have the mass, and you don't have the mass, but you can get these guys there. Where are you going to get them? Well, I'm gonna get them at table A4, because I know that this thing is boiling at 220 degrees Celsius, and there, I will find out about these two fellas, BF at, to 20 degrees Celsius and BG at two, let me just use these tools. So it looks a little bit better. So 220 degrees Celsius. And I'm already gonna tell you the values. So are the ones that I'm gonna work with. This thing is 0 0.001190, okay? And this fella over here is 0 0.08, if I'm not mistaken, always check and I'm gonna put a one over there because I'm rounding a little bit up, okay? So this fella is gonna be uh, cubic meter per kilogram and cubic meter per kilogram. Therefore, you can, also, you can already get the um, masses, okay? The masses for the steam, whether it's the vapor phase or whether it is the liquid phase. So I'm gonna start with the liquid. MF equals to Vf divided by specific volume of the liquid. This thing will give you, I, I think I got it, oh, I had it over here. This thing should be 504, 504.2 kilograms of liquid phase. And the gas or the vapor phase will have Bg divided by Bg, and you will get yourself 13.94 kilograms. So, First of all, look at the numbers. You have so much more liquid than vapor, okay? And you will see, well, that's kind of logic. And I will tell you, yeah, you're right, because liquid phase is much more dense. It's much more heavy, you wanna say it like that, than the vapor phase. But 
when you were looking at this data, maybe you didn't actually knew what was, or you didn't know what was actually happening over there because you saw like one third is liquid and two thirds are vapor, right? And you will say, well, maybe there's much more than, of, of vapor than of, of liquid. Well, in the sense of volume, yeah, the vapor phase actually occupies much more volume than the liquid phase in general way in, the, in a general way of speaking but now that we go to the mass part then we'll see then we will see that there's another ratio and that ratio is the one that we are looking for so i'm going to put so now you can actually get the quality of the steam which is mg divided by m total so M total, you just add them up. You just, you're just going to add these two guys. And you will get that this fella is 0 0.027. Remember that quality is dimensionless. It doesn't have any dimensions. But in, it indicates something. It's a ratio. It's a ratio of how much mass of the vapor phase is in comparison with the total mass of steam that it's within the tank okay that's what they are asking so we have ourselves this fella over there now in order to conclude we need to find we need to find something about the density so in that sense we have we have we have this information we have this information but i still do not have how much is the specific volume of the whole mixture okay i got them individually i got these values of specific volume for each one of the phases, but now I want to reunite that uh, for the whole mixture. So what I'm gonna write, perhaps you remember this formula, okay? And you already had this information. You don't have this information, but now you have that information. And with that, B equals, I'm just going to put in explicit form that B, and it's gonna be BF plus X, BG minus BF. And if you remember, you have this number here, you have this number there, you have this number there. So hopefully your calculator will get you there or will or, or this thing maybe is what I'm thinking is right. But you need to tell me in the comment section if I need to correct something and I will do it. Okay, so you have the specific volume of the whole mixture. This is not what they are asking. They are asking you the density. But nonetheless, now it's just one step away from the complete solution. I just remind you that I do not, it's not that I don't like, okay? But density has not that much of a meaning when you're working in thermodynamics or at least with the steam tables. Uh, specific volume may, makes much more sense. But nonetheless, you can also write this. So the density will be this divided by the specific volume. So what I have over here is two, and 87.144 kilograms, kilograms cubic meter. Now, look at the value of density. Maybe it helps you to visualize what is happening within the tank. When you have just perfect, I mean, perfect compressed liquid water, you are around 1,000 or 900 or something of kilograms per cubic meter. You are really low there than that. Okay, so that means that you are getting into a phase of vapor situation. Well, this is not vapor phase completely. This is not liquid phase completely. This is a mixture. That's why you have this number over there that is not the density of a gas and it's not the density of the compressed liquid that you maybe know as 1,000 or close to 1,000. Okay, so that's the end of this video hopefully it helps you to uh make some other uh examples on your own okay guys see you soon